Oh, let me see who's still out there this morning. We apologize for the interruption. We're going to go forward and we're going to continue in what God has shared with us on today. Uh, we apologize for the disruption. Thank you, Valerie, for still watching. How are you this morning? Thank you, Karen, for still watching. And Teresa, oh, we thank you. Thank you, Lori, for still being with us. Thank you for saying it's much better. Yes, my husband was able to switch something out. Had a little bit of, of confusion, but we bring everything subject to the word of the Lord. Amen, amen, amen. But we were saying that what we did was we, we said on Monday we're going to have a great week. We said on Tuesday um, we started with our narrative on um, bless the Lord, O oh my soul, and all that is within me. Bless his holy name. We thank God for um, so, um, David giving us a summative on what example we need to take when we're at our lowest point and we have to command our soul to bless the Lord, to bless the Lord at all times and let our praises, his praises continue to be in our mouth. So David was at a point where he had gone through some things, he had experienced some things, and he was at a low point. And at this time he said, no, 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 guess what, soul? You're going to, you're going to bless the Lord. And you're not going to forget his benefits. So we talked about a benefits package. That's verse 2. There are some people that take jobs just for the benefits. I know I've looked at um, um, positions and I look immediately to see what do they offer me besides the pay. Because it is essential that I have coverage in certain things for myself and my family. That's the same way with God. Besides salvation, he has given you some benefits that comes with salvation. You know, and then we can call on his names because in the first verse it says, bless his holy name. So we know that the name of the Lord is a strong tower. The righteous run in and they are saved. And guess what? We have some names that comes with our benefits. If you need a healer, you can call on Jehovah Jireh. If you if you if you if you have a bitter sweet bitter experiences, Jehovah Jireh. I mean, excuse me, Jehovah, not Jehovah Jireh. That's our provider. You can call on Jehovah um, Jireh, who provides for us. If you're lacking funds, or you feel as though you don't have enough, He's more than enough. And Jehovah Rapha, He is your healer. He is the one that makes your bitter experiences sweet. And on top of that. He also heals your mind, your body, and your emotions. So we have benefits that comes with that. If you're feeling um, guilt and shame, then you can call on Jehovah to sit canoe. And he is your righteousness. He puts you in right standing back with God. Our, our God is an awesome God. In this benefit package, you can call on Jehovah Nisi. If you're feeling defeated, he is your victory. And the battle over you is victory because God has already won the battle and he's already giving you the victory. If you need, if you feel like you're in a dark place, uh, if you're in a dark position, then guess what? You can call on Jehovah Ori because he's your light. He's a lamp unto your feet and a light unto your path. If you feel as though the world has turned against you and nobody loves you, he is just Jehovah, your covenant-keeping God. He'll never leave you out nor forsake you. That's Jehovah Shema. Ah, he is, he is Jehovah Sabaoth. You need to know that there are more with you than there are against you. We have a great um, we have a great and an awesome, awesome um, 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 benefits package. And so we want to bless God on today. We want to bless God on today. We want to bless him and forget not his benefits. Even when technology goes awry, we still have a God that's able to take what all these things were meant for evil and turn around for our good. That's our benefits package. It's filled with things that God does for us. He's the creator of all creation. He created you and I, and he loves us with an everlasting love. He'll never leave us, not forsake us. He's there when we need him. He won't turn his back on us like most friends does. We have friends with benefits in high places, and his name is the Father, Son, and the Holy Ghost. We ought to thank God for our benefits today. And you can't forget it. We were reading a scripture that said in Deuteronomy 6, 12, it said, but when these benefits start working in your life, then God gives us a warning. He said, watch yourself that you do not forget the Lord who brought you from um, the land of Egypt and out of the house of slavery. What, are, what were you in slavery to? Come on, if you're like me, what were you in slavery to? You need to watch yourself when God brings you out of bondage, when he breaks through and breaks you out. Because sometimes those familiar spirits will creep back on you. Yes, they will. And then you'll succumb to them 
and allow yourself to be drawn back into slavery. Remember, the children of Israel were in slavery and bondage for over 400 years, and they got out, and guess what they did? They got frustrated and said, hey, just take me back. I'd rather eat the cucumbers and the leeks. Are you out now, but you're looking back? You want to go back to some things? David said, listen, watch yourself. Because God is the one that brought you out of slavery and brought you out of bondage. Maybe you were a slave to lying. Hmm. Maybe you were a slave to fear. Maybe you were a slave to whoremongering. <laughs> Maybe you were a slave to pornography or masturbation. Maybe you were, were a slave to, to drugs, alcohol, taking pills. Maybe you, maybe you preferred the overcome stuff where you got prescription drugs. Uh, you drank NyQuil just so you can sleep your troubles away. Maybe you were a slave to dysfunctional relationships. Whatever you were a slave to, maybe you were a slave to obsessive eating. Maybe you were a slave to arguing and fussing all the time. Whatever you were a slave to, David said, watch yourself. Remember that God brought you out. And be careful not to go back. You need to continually decree a thing so you can establish what God has done in your life. Because uh, our God is a good God. Psalms 40 and 5 says, remember the Lord your God and the wonders he has done. Come on, he's a wonder. He's done some wonderful things in your life and my life. He's a wonderful God. And you can't forget, never forget what he's done for you, David said. Never forget. There's a song we used to sing a long time ago called Jesus, I'll Never Forget. It said, Jesus, I'll Never Forget What You've Done For Me. Jesus, I'll never forget how you set me free. Jesus, I'll never forget how you brought me out. No, 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 never. Come on. No, never. Never forget how Jesus brought you out. Never forget where he brought you from. Never forget how he saved you. Never forget how he set you free. Never forget how he healed you. Never forget how he delivered you. Never forget how he brought your marriage back together. Never forget how he healed you after a divorce. Never forget what God has done for you. Watch yourself. Ah, I like that. Be sober. Be vigilant because your enemy is, is after you, trying to devour you. But God stands up in you and all of your enemies be scattered. The word of God says, though he came in one way, he must flee seven different ways. That's complete annihilation. So watch yourself. And remind yourself that greater is he that is in you than he that is in the world. Don't get so high-minded that you forget what God has done for you. Because God has been a good God. And David says, so today you're going to magnify what God has done. Because I don't want to forget, no matter what I've done, he's been good to me. And listen, no matter what you've done, God has been good to you. I want to remind you, I say this almost every time I get a chance, there are royals over in Britain. And it don't matter what those boys do, they still royals. You're still royalty. You're still royalty. You've been bought with a price. And no matter what you do, God still loves you. Look at all the things that David did. He's a great example. And God says he's still a man after my own heart. God says I love him just like I love you with an everlasting love. He's an eternal God. He's our God. He's a mighty God. He's El Shaddai. He's the many breasted one. He'll nourish you back to health when you're sin sick or when your body is challenged with sickness. Our God is there to pick us up, turn us around, and send us on the right path. Uh, he gives us instruction so that we can release instruction out of our mouths. We don't want to speak destruction. We want to speak instruction to every circumstance and situation so they can know that we will never forget what God has done for us. So this morning, we want to talk about some of those benefits that come with our package because we have a great benefit, a ben um, ben um, benefactor. His name is God. His name is Jesus. His name is Holy Spirit. We have a great benefactor, and he's left us some benefits, and we want to decree and declare this morning some of those benefits that God, our great God, our awesome God, our marvelous God, we want to remind our soul this morning and all that's within us that we will never forget his benefits. So let's decree and declare some of those benefits. Ah, because you have these benefits, know that you can do all things through Christ that strengthens you. You are being strengthened even now with all power according to his might. God leaves you with, allows you with benefits daily. Ah, he is your salvation and he helps you in times of trouble. No matter what you go through, all grace has been made abound towards you. 
as God always with all sufficiency, sufficiency gives you everything you need. Because of your benefits um, package, you, you will prosper and be in health even as your soul prospers. You have been redeemed from the curse of the law, from the penalty of the law. Because Jesus Christ himself took your penalties and now he nailed them to the cross. Come on, let's get your hammer and your imaginary nail and nail the penalties of sin and those things you've done. Nail it back to the cross. It does not belong to you because you have benefits and you do not belong to it. It is illegally operating in your life. Just repent and God will place you back into his care. Ah, you've been stamped with approval and the Holy Spirit guarantees your success. Those are the benefits of your benefits package. Listen, you are blessed with all spiritual blessings. You're blessed in the city. You're blessed in the field. You're blessed in the country. I don't care where you live, you're blessed. You're blessed when you go out. You're blessed when you come in. The fruit of your womb is blessed. Where you once was barren. Come on, there's some women out there that God gave some miracle children to. You know you weren't supposed to have children, yet God blessed the fruit of your womb. He's blessed the fruit of your body. You're stronger today than you were yesterday. Go ahead and confess it over your body. Say, I'm stronger today than I was yesterday because greater is he that is in me than he that is in the world. Come on, the Lord heals us from our bitter experiences. He heals our bodies. He heals our mind. He blesses us. He blesses us and surrounds us with the shield of favor. Because of your benefits packages, he fills you with all joy and peace because we stay in his presence. We have the mind of Christ. We have the joy of the Lord, which is our strength. Because of the benefits package, you are steadfast, immovable, always abounding in the word of the Lord. Come on, you're always abounding, going ahead, leaping forward. This might not be a leap year, but we're leaping because of the word of God that's in us. We're leaping into position. We're leaping over our enemies. We're leaping in front of those that the world may have chosen, but God cho called you and he chose you. Because of our benefits package, he is able to do exceeding abundantly above all we can even ask or think because of the power that's on working on the inside of us. Come on, let the word do the work this morning. Let the word do the work this morning. Work the word. That's the power that's on the inside of you. Because of the benefits package, you are covered by the blood. Angels are encamped about you, keeping you safe from all hurt, harm, and danger. You are secure in God. He is your shepherd. You shall not lack any good thing. And he leads you. He guides you. He feeds you. He protects you. He takes care of you. He's your shepherd. Come on now. This is because you have benefits with your friend in heavenly places. Because you have benefits, you are no longer called forsaken or desolate. You are called a child of God. You are called, the, he's the king of kings and he's the lord of lords. You are called his beloved. You are called a son. You are called a daughter. You are called his marvelous works. You are the creative being. And I dare you this morning just to begin to tell your soul to bless the Lord because of all of your benefits. You are covered, like I said, from the crown of your head to the sole of the, your feet. God has blessed you. And now we ought to bless him right now. Let's take about 10 seconds and let's bless him. Let's barack him. Come on, let's let our soul just bless the Lord. Wherever you are, just collect your body and all that's within you with upstretched hands. Just begin to praise God and thank him for his benefits on today. Yes, Lord God, we thank you, Father. We bless you, we bless you, we bless you, we bless you. We bless you on today. We bless you on today. We barack you on today. We shabak you on today. We say hallelujah on today because you're worthy. You're worthy from the rising of the sun, people, to the going down of that same sun. Our God is worthy to be praised. So bless the Lord. Oh, my soul, and all that is within me, bless his holy name. Bless the Lord, oh, my soul, and forget not his benefits. Don't forget what God has done for you. Never forget what God brought you out of. Never forget what he's doing even now. Ah, uh, let Yahweh, the God who's the same, yesterday, today, and forever, who was and is to come, the one who breathed into your soul. Remember we said your soul is made up of you. That's who you are, your personality, your spirit, I mean your will, your mind, your emotion. 
your intellect, your dreams, your attitude. Let the breath of God breathe fresh on you this day, this winning Wednesday, because you're a winner. You're made in God's image and his likeness. And so you have so much to bless the Lord for. I bless you for being with us today. And as usual, we'll conclude this. Since this is a new recording, I want to get our morning declaration on it again. So let's just go over our morning declaration. If you want a copy of this, you can definitely email me at rfl at thewinningimage.net. And you can receive this and start keeping these and collecting these. Um, they'll be great for you to say every morning. So let's say our morning declaration again together. I declare that God will accelerate his plan for my life as I put my trust in him. I will accomplish my dreams faster than I thought possible. It will not take years to accomplish or to overcome any obstacle to get out of debt or to meet the right person. God is doing these things faster than ever before. He will give me victory. And who is victory? That's Jehovah Nisi. That's the name of the Lord that you blessed today. If you need victory, bless Jehovah Nisi today. He's the great I am in your life. Whatever you need, there's a name that represents his character and his nature. Call on his name. He will give you victory sooner than you think. He has blessings that will thrust you years ahead. Yes, he does. We're going back to the future. God is thrusting us ahead. Look, you're somewhere in the future, people, and you're better than you are right now. So see yourself in the future. Remember, you are the child of the king. You are a lord, a lady, a prince, a princess, a son, a daughter. And the earth is groaning and moaning and waiting for you and I to stand up and declare to our soul so other souls can know it that we shall bless the Lord with all that's within us, and we won't forget his benefits. I'm Rhonda Ferguson Lewis, your spiritual and transformational impact coach, blessing you on today and praying that you are blessed. Share this video. Um, make comments on the video. Let us know that you're receiving what we're decreeing and declaring and then using it in your life. Remember, at the end of the week, we'll have you type in your declaration for the week. What do you want God to do for you? What are you proclaiming, announcing, declaring, decreeing that God has done for you? And as usual, let's end with together. This is the day that the Lord has made. I shall rejoice and be glad in it. That's the declaration. We bless you on today. Have a great and victorious day. Bye-bye.